In tonight's cover story, a weight off your shoulders. Chicago strength coach Cam Paulson's remarkable act of charity helped the Southside School lift a heavy burden. WGN's Mike Lowe reports on the man behind the muscle. It's been said that the heart is the strongest muscle. A high level of uh, energy, attitude, effort. So what happens when a heart beats inside of a strength coach? Let's go, fellas. For one thing. Feel that hammy stretch, dog. It pumps. There you go. At a mile a minute. Finish it. My mind's spinning because there's so much to be done. Yeah, I like those reps. Finish it up. Finish it up. Cam Paulson is coaching clients inside of Strive Village. I like that depth. I like that depth a lot. Where hard work is more than a slogan on a wall. Help! It's a life philosophy. Good stuff. Perfect. Perfect. There is no success without sacrifice. So that's why you've got to love hard work, because that's what it takes. So that's my mission. 45! The 33-year-old strength coach is equal parts demanding. Help! and devoted. All day, baby. Charismatic. Loving those reps, there you go. <laughs> and candid. Bunch of old guys grinding right now. He says things that other people are thinking and he's not afraid to tell you where you stand. Careful now, does that bother you at all? Okay, let's the former college football strength coach at Ohio State and Florida. Yeah, go get it. Now leads his clients through grueling workouts. We're not wasting time. You come in, we're training hard for 45 minutes. There's nothing foo-foo about it. This isn't the Men's Health magazine. That's it, P. Lee. Some of the city's most successful people are drawn to the challenge. His clients include Chicago's top names in business, politics, sports, and media. I'm the CEO of Jet Support Services. I'm a founding partner of Summit Trail Advisors. 20 pound dumbbell out. Paulson tapped into that network to start the nonprofit It Takes a Village Chicago. You know, this isn't an organization where we sit on a board and, and waste time. We're trying to be a force for good. It's all about action. I want to help as many people as I can today. With the goal of building new weight rooms in schools that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford them. The most recent was a pandemic project. We are in our brand new Cougar weight room that we are so excited to have. A state-of-the-art $110,000 gym at Crane High School on Chicago's near west side to replace the decades-old fitness center. It was terrible, like broken waist, broken machines. Show them a game face. Stick all the way out. One recent afternoon, Paulson volunteered to train the basketball team. I like those reps. Eight, six is fours, and we're finishing. You never met these kids, you know what I mean? Never seen any of these kids in our program and literally treats them as if he was their coach. So when you start working out like you wouldn't give up, but when you push through it, it makes you stronger. Let's go. Keep your elbows up. Explode. Explode. So far, Coach Cam's charity has built seven weight rooms. We need more stuff for kids to do after school. There's just not enough things for kids to do. But the first one was at a small Catholic school in back of the yards. You staying out of trouble? A rough south side neighborhood behind the old Union stockyards, where nearly a third of the people live below the poverty line, and gang violence is a constant concern. You can't really go outside and be 100% safe with walking around. Today we're just going to have a brief intro of what the uh, project is going to be. But San Miguel School has become a safe haven. I'm going to ask that we do this in pairs. All of San Miguel's 90 students, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, are Hispanic. This place really helps you make new connections. They're like a family for like every single student. Many are from working class families who felt the pain of the pandemic in lost jobs. It becomes very dire. And the lost ability to pay the school's $1,000 tuition. We have a policy that no, you know, every kid can come. Uh, every kid is, uh, will, not, will be able to stay here regardless of, of the ability to pay. Staring at a $35,000 gap for this year, San Miguel's executive director, Jeff Smart, said a prayer and sent a plea, asking donors to help the school stay afloat. So I actually hit send on that email that went out and literally looked at my phone and it was Cam calling. So I picked my phone, I remember it, I was, I was reading it, phone up, hey Jeff, I got 30 grand left in the charity account, it's yours, but let's, let's get this going, let's use this as a, as a kindling to, to get things going, let's get, let's, let's match this at least. And just like that, Cam okay, kind of on the spot saying, we got you. The $35,000 budget gap was gone. 
they need to stay in this amazing school. It's, it's pretty simple. And <laughs> so I'm going to get it done. Since you care, there's 90 students here in person getting the better education. Coach Cam is showing the city that maybe this heart that pumps iron Keep working. is actually a heart of gold. Cam's heart is, uh, is bigger than his muscles. Break the ball, George! Break the ball! He's a guy that is all heart. How is this? Good. Faster or good? Good job. In River North. Finish it. Like low. Yep. <laughs> WGN News. Well, if you would like to donate to this fabulous organization, it takes a village Chicago or even San Miguel. There are links on our website. Coach Cam is matching any donations to the school up to $30,000. Coach Cam is also looking for the next school or community center to donate a weight room. If you are interested, go to our website and find out how to contact him.